Hey everyone, today on Feathers Off-Road we have a special guest bike, a second generation Nikot e-beast. A buddy of mine just picked this up after about a five month wait, similar to what I had. And it's a pretty impressive package. There are some similarities, like a cable throttle, uh, like I just replaced on mine, but several add-ons, mirrors, front and rear blinkers, headlight, uh, factory rim locks, which I also had to add to mine, push button start, new stickers, the drivetrain seems pretty much unchanged, 72 volt, 50 amp hour battery, four speed gearbox, and the controller looked the same. Um, should be great to see this thing out on the trail. Eco mode, turbo mode, um, very similar, but slightly upgraded. I think it's a really great looking package. Um, they definitely learned a lot from the first gen. And then on the ride today, we also have uh, my first generation, Nico E Beast over here with the handguards and the stuff I've put on, which is familiar to my channel. And then we've got one Sir on with us today. And we're gonna hit a trail. Alright. We are up on South Skyline Trail. This is near Pine Bee Reservoir. And we're gonna climb up to Lewis Peak. Try and make a half day out of this, but talking to that guy in the parking lot a little bit. Sounds like there's a number of offshoots we could take and different places other than what's on the Forest Service map. So Let's see how it goes. But we got the my original V1. Uh, E-Beast. I got that one from Secutronic, which I mentioned, I think, somewhere. And today, we got one of my buddies that bought the um, E-Beast. I guess it's the same E-Beast still, but he bought it right from the Nikot guys. Frank at Nikot Moto. He's got a couple of videos out there. And Delivery times were similar. He waited probably five months. Not same as me. But I have to say, they, they really made that other one like a lot nicer. I would say if I was to buy now, that's, that's the one I would be buying. It's already got blinkers, mirrors, rim locks, headlight. I think it's right at the time anyway I think he paid 400 bucks more than me and the reason that's important at least here in Utah is we can it's really easy to make dirt bikes street legal here so he's got an appointment uh, I think next week this week to go get a license plate put on that thing, which is crazy. Now I can do the same with mine. It's just, I gotta add headlight blinkers, horn. Actually, I've got a horn. Headlight blinkers and a brake light. And a place to put a license plate. There. And a mirror, one mirror. So it's not too hard. Still, for 400 bucks, to just kind of have that all done, nice, probably worth it. And the rim locks, I don't think my rim locks are that expensive, but you know, to actually go do it, probably took me an hour, that kind of thing. But, yeah. It's a good looking machine. Caught the left side of my leg. I didn't see what I caught it on, but good. Yeah, we got the Suron. Not the one with the co-motor. He couldn't join us today, but we got the kind of factory one with the new rear. Relocated dash. That's my boy Clue. 
and I've got some links to his channel, Clue 801. Yeah, this is really pretty. I know the camera isn't capturing it, but just off down to my right, you can see the reservoir. Looking at the topography map, it didn't look too bad. It is pretty steep off to of this left side, but with all of the trees here, I don't think you could really get into too much trouble. Probably go off the trail a couple feet and just get caught. for a bit and they never came so they just called me and said I need help so I'm gonna go back a little bit I don't know how far back I'm assuming the town narrow this is I'm assuming we got a bike maybe off the trail a little bit all right i didn't really capture a video but we did indeed have a bike go off the trail no big deal no one's hurt bike's fine we are good to go probably tell. I bet the camera's getting a little bit here. The tree line is, I don't know, another 800 feet. Lewis Peak is, I think, 8,100 feet elevation. There used to be a ski resort up here, which I don't know why they closed it, but it's not, it's not here anymore. And uh, yeah, it's starting to kind of level off. Not so much of a steep drop on that left hand side. But yeah, this is nice. I mean, even compared to American Fork Canyon. Whew, definitely got air on that one.
for me, this is a little bit of a drive. I've not been up in this area before. Yeah, it's far enough. Probably wouldn't really be something I hit a ton. However, I definitely put it on my list of trails to come back for if I was up in this area. And we're on the south skyline trail. So eventually this meets up with a paved road and then we cross the paved road and then it's the north skyline trail and you end up on a mountain called Ben Lomond and you kind of just ride that whole ridge and that's uh, you know driving a car down at the bottom it's really pretty I can't imagine what the views are like up there. So maybe another time, but again, for me to drive to that would be kind of further than this one. So put it on the list. Never in the area. Have to get that. Pineview Reservoir down there. Pretty empty. There's the gentleman. Is that going to continue on? Alright, now we got a rear view of the Nikot. This is my buddy on it. He's a relatively new rider, hence the speed, but yeah, he's doing good. This is a big climb. Tight trail down there at the bottom. You can see the license plate holder is a little askew from our off the trail adventure earlier, but The other thing I don't like as I'm looking at it is the uh, kickstand. Look, it's like non-existent. No good for off-road. You have to do something with that. Otherwise, so far it looks like a solid machine. The graphics are nice. Drivetrain power, all that looks the same. I think the Ever was different. Almost might have been hydraulic. Maybe, maybe not. I'll be getting this one. Um, yeah, solid rig for just a couple hundred more. With as easy it is to street legal dirt bikes here, I think I would have done that one. Now, I could add onto this and tap into the 72 volt line and add some kind of uh, you know, drop the voltage regulator and uh, power some, and throw some lights on or whatever. But like I said, that's another map by the lights, by the rectifier, by whatever. And I gotta find the wires, put it all on, make it look factory. I don't know, I bet you'd be in that project probably a hundred parts and then kind of your own time so and it's not going to look factory you probably make it look good i don't think you're going to make it look as clean as that a solid deal
side hill. Definitely gone away, and now we're getting into some planes. So I think I said 8,100 feet feels about right. I'm not a tree expert, I guess, but this is the kind of stuff I see a lot. So what we're on right now is the Irie Peak, and I think this trail ahead is what goes to the Moon Peak. So based on the skill of those in our group, maybe we don't do this climb. Maybe there's a bypass. Let's see. All right, so there was a bypass, but we opted to turn around. Um, save that last leg for another day. The spot where we're at, if I check the map, the spot where we're at is 8100 and over there it's 8000 feet. So um, we were actually higher than that anyway. So good run. Like I said, I would definitely come here again. I think this might be a place I'd come if I had the entire day, where today we've only got half the day, and um, so we're, I guess, a little bit rushed on time as well. Kind of, this is kind of an out and back, and all this stuff down up to the ride. I hope that's captured. Um, I'm gonna go back down a couple thousand feet. So, so these other guys passed the overlook before, so we're just gonna kind of hit this one more time. I can't remember the name of this town if it's... I think it might be Eden. Have to check. dumb <laughs> I don't even think he saw me <sighs> I 
Figure this one out. All right. I gotta stop crashing. I'm doing these post crash recaps. So I think I got caught looking at the beautiful mountains over there and kind of just got on the side of the rides. This trail is good but the sides of it are just barely rounded. So how did the Nico EVs do? I caught. I don't know how, to say it. how did it do in a crash? Well, uh, if you've watched my channel enough, you know that I've crashed a number of times and it's really done fine throughout all of it um, this time I did bend the brake lever unfortunately rear brake lever just a bit I was able to kind of get it in a position that I can ride but my foot is definitely not in a great controlled position so now it's probably good that we're going back anyway I told my friend on the other night cop you know he's new the goal for me every time trail riding is to crash fewer times than I did before and I think generally I do that pretty here, no denying. <laughs> I can't believe Clue just rode right by. I don't know if that's in the video. I hope it is. Or I'm just laying there in a tree and he just blasts right by. Regardless, I find trees on this trailer. Those big ones wouldn't be, but a lot of these littler ones made a pretty soft fall. Alright. Coming down over Pine View. Bunch of boats out today. And uh I'm thinking more about my brake lever as I stand here like a crazy person. Maybe I ought to do a video about how to bend it back without breaking it or without bending the where it attaches to the bike. That'd be useful. I'll think about that. A lot of butterflies again. I think I mentioned that in the American Fork Canyon video. I'm not sure what's up. If it's altitude or Tons of butterflies this year. Wow. I'm not sure if I hit the button fast enough for that, but it was like a couple of F35s that just did a U-turn right over me. Um, there's a huge Air Force base here. Uh, nearby. Hill Air Force Base. And they did a we did an air show not long ago that was just awesome. And I can't remember the name of the group Pop Hand that comes for that every other year. I think it's the Thunderbirds. This is that section coming up where I caught air on one of these. I'm a little more nervous going downhill. Just Number of bikes that I've seen now. I guess I'm also the speed. Yeah. Alright, so final recap. This is South Skyline Trail. 
we were headed to Lewis Peak and almost made it there. It's been about three hours, 16 miles. Uh, a couple of incidents, nobody's hurt. The machine did fine. My brake lever is not really usable. Your brake, uh, but that's okay. The views were great, the weather's perfect. So I would definitely come here again. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, enjoy the ride.